Revelation 2429, from the 31st of July 1942. Grace is of the work of redemption. Living faith in it. Faith in Christ's work of redemption is only a living one when every doubt in the human being disappears that Jesus Christ died on the cross in love for humanity. As soon as Christ's death on the cross is only regarded as the execution of a judgment on a human being, that is as soon as it is only taken note of in a purely historical way, the human being only recognizes a fact without realizing the meaning of the word redemption. In order to understand the meaning of this word he must first be convinced that the human being Jesus possessed great strength which enabled him to avert the painful death on the cross from himself. Furthermore, he must be in no doubt that Jesus was full of love and that he wanted to make a sacrifice to his fellow human beings in love. That he therefore did not use his strength, which he could dispose of at any time to offer humanity a sacrifice of love, that he wanted to suffer for humanity in order to spare it unspeakable suffering, that he therefore wanted to redeem it from its suffering through his death on the cross, and that he therefore switched off his divine strength and power and suffered and died in human weakness. When the human being becomes clearly aware of this, his faith in the act of salvation comes alive and the desire awakens in him to belong to those for whom Jesus Christ laid down his life on the cross, and in his heart he calls upon the divine Redeemer to have mercy on him and to take care of his weakness. Jesus, the man, had become knowledgeable through his profound love while humanity was in spiritual darkness due to its great lack of love and Jesus knew about people's spiritual low and its effect, and he took pity on, he sought to help humanity, he sought to bring it light and therefore taught it love, which alone could lead the human being to the light, yet he only found little favor with them and they therefore remained in their darkness. Jesus, however, foresaw their dreadful suffering and knew of their lack of will which made it impossible to change their way of life. He wanted to help them, he wanted to change their way of life. He wanted to help them, he wanted to strengthen their will and impart strength to them. And thus, he offered himself to God, as a sacrifice of atonement in order to transfer the strength, which was fully at his disposal, to people who now want to receive this strength from his hands. Thus he acquired the blessings of the act of salvation for humanity which can now be received again by anyone who believes in Jesus Christ and his act of salvation, who is therefore aware of the great significance of Jesus' crucifixion and wants to partake of the blessings Jesus Christ acquired for people, for he has living faith in the divine Redeemer and entrusts himself and his soul to his divine love. Amen.